Hello Shadows, welcome to another video, and today we're going to talk about about how in the Arrowverse, yeah, Arrow's going to end at Season 8, which, if you guys want me to, I'll make another video of that, and I've heard Lessons of Tomorrow's going to be having a series finale this current season, which I'll make a video kind of talking more into that for sure but the thing I want to talk about is Barry Allen's Flash which I could say the Flash because the Flash is connected to the Arrowverse and for like since I want to say 2014 is when we got season one of the Flash and yeah, he kind of guest starred as just Barry Allen in Arrow in Season 2. And then they kind of tease him becoming the Flash in the second episode Barry Allen was in in the second season. The reason why I'm bringing him up is because in the, like, I think it's the five seasons so far, they kind of, one major thing that's been consistent in the Flash outside of I'm using time travel. Is that in the future the Flash is going to disappear? They don't say if Barry Allen is going to die or not. It's just they just said Barry Allen or the Flash is going to disappear. The Flash referring to Barry Allen. So now in the season, like in the last episode of the last season of the Flash, I guess one last. Time anomaly that Nora at West Allen made before she disappeared from time is up to the disappearance date of when Barry Allen's version of Flash was going to disappear. So besides it being like 30 years in the future, 34 years in the future, it's going to be, well, like next year or this year. And so, does that mean that Barry Allen's going to, uh, die? I don't think so. Because Oliver Queen went into that portal with the monitor, right? And the monitor said that he saw Barry Allen, uh, Oliver Queen's death in the last, in season seven's episode, the last episode of season seven of Arrow. And we saw Oliver going into uh, this part of with the monitor. Now, that logic applied. Barry Allen could also be in the portal as well. And to be honest, in also in the se season finale for season seven of Arrow, they did also say, kind of a tease a bit that Oliver wasn't really dead, dead like the monitor said, because Felicity from the future. Came into the portal just to see her husband, which is the Green Arrow. So, could Barry Allen go into the same portal that Felicity from the future and I guess present Oliver Queen has gone into? Yes. And I feel like that is what the disappearance of Barry Allen could be. Now, with the Flash, could the Flash disappear? Yes. Temporarily. But the th good thing about there being multiple speedsters, they could bring in another person to be the star of the Flash show. I mean, yeah, they have Jesse Quick, but it'd be kind of awkward to have a show based off of Jesse Quick if the show is called The Flash. What I suggest... So they go with Wally West, who has so far been Kid Flash. Now, in you can say, how can the Kid Flash become the Flash? I mean, they kind of teased Wally West being the Flash in like two seasons ago. Uh, and in the comic books, some versions of the Flash in the Scarlet Suit has been... Wally West. Now, I don't know if Ira West and Wally West has always been family, 
but you know, in this version of the Flash, their brother and sister, Wally West and Iris West. So that means Wally West could take up the mantle for his brother in law, Barry Allen, since he's been gone. And I feel like with Barry Allen disappearing, it'd be cool to see Kid Flash graduate from Kid Flash to becoming the Flash, try and fill Barry Allen's shoes, but at the same time, try and make a name for himself while being the Flash. I mean, it'd be great. I, I would love to see Wally West becoming the Flash in this universe. We had, so for five seasons of Barry Allen being the Flash, soon to be six, I have nothing against Barry Allen, I guess being, being the Flash, I have nothing against Grant Gustin, but since they are teasing that I'm guessing the Crisis of Infinite Earths with, is the next Arrowverse crossover, if they're going to bring, introduce the idea that Barry Allen will disappear, and since they kind of teased that Wally West for one episode, was the Flash trying to buy time? Pretty much Wally West. I, Wally, uh, Barry Allen was trapped in the Speed Force, and this samurai guy one was trying to uh, bring in the Flash. So Team Flash thought it was a good idea to have Wally West put on the Flash suit, hence Team Wally West being the Flash. And a uh, nod to like the comics and some of the TV shows. Why can't this the same thing happen in the Flash show? But, uh, Wally West permanently being the Flash. I mean, hopefully the people behind Flash will do it. I would love to see a take where Wally West, a live action take of Wally West being the Flash. It'd be great. And I, it'd be cool to see Wally West struggle while keeping the Flash name alive, while trying to make a new name for the Flash outside of Barry Allen, if you get what I mean. And maybe they can do what they did with the Black Canary in Arrow, where after Laurel Lance died, they said, oh yeah, well, uh, now we're going to give out the name with Lauren, uh, Laurel, who was the Black Canary. Maybe they can do that with the Flash, and the Flash was Barry Allen, and he was just a brave soul, whatever. But now there's a new uh, Flash. Now there's a new person that's going to take on the Flash mental. We're not going to say the name for privacy reasons, but we are going. There is a new Flash being hinting at Wally West. You know, that's my theory. That's my one. That's my nerd. That's my nerd dream right there. But yeah. It, It'd be great. It would be lovely to see what them taking advantage of Barry Allen disappearing by bringing Wally West as the new Flash. I'd be game for that. The comic book in me, comic book nerd in me wants that. The Arrowverse nerd in me said that would be cool. I'm all up for it. So what do you guys think? Do you guys want Wally West being the new Flash? Leave a comment below. And I'll see you guys soon. Later, tears.